everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. So today we're with the Dragon's Rejects. They're moving up the valley heading towards the Night Gaunts. The rendezvous point is an abandoned facility between the two of them. And the Dragon's Rejects have gotten there first. So we're just going to move in, hold the base, and wait for the Night Gaunts to arrive. Alright, so there's the base just up ahead. We're going to push forward and uh, just take it over. It's pretty quiet right now. There's some just the old uh, military buildings there, or, or old buildings there. Let's just step forward. Um, I don't think there's going to be any Reapers around, so let's just push forward. We're going to take... Um, let's let the Bushwhacker move down this way. Got it. We've got... Oh, we've got enemy contacts. What? Okay. Um, alrighty. Well, let's move the MRMs down here. Let's keep the Hellbringer up here. No problem. And our fire starter OC. Let's go. Here. Let's bring up Helopolis. Let's get up onto here. No sweat. A little bit higher. Not much higher, but a little bit higher. We'll bring the second treb. Uh, it's really kind of fire support, so let's keep it up on the hill. The riflemen, same thing, fire support, so let's stay up on the hill. On the move. And then we've got the MRM Hetzer, which can come down here with these two guys. Coordinate. And then the LRM Hetzer, let's just switch this over to standard ammo. We'll keep you up on the hill. Alright, let's, let's see what we're up against here. Oh, we've got a copter. Vector. <laughs> You know, I gotta say, one of the, sorry, <laughs> one of the greatest quotes, um, <laughs> one of the greatest quotes from any villain I've ever heard was uh, Vector from uh, Despicable Me. It's like, yeah, I'm, what is it? Commander. I'm uh, committing crimes with both, was it both speed and direction? Something like that, anyway. It was just just brilliant. Anyway, uh, yeah. So let's get up here. Copter's pulling back. I want to try and take advantage of that. Double time. Try and take that thing down fast if we can. We don't got good. S oh, where is it? Right here. I was gonna say we don't have good sensors on it, but it's actually not that bad. It's gonna heat us up quickly. How much armor does this thing have? Ninety. I'm gonna leave the ER large off because we got several people to fire at this. So we'll just fire some MRMs at it. Fire some damage. Excellent. We got lots coming, so. And it's already moved. So what else do we have here? Hunchback 2C. Adder. Black Knight. So it looks like we've stepped in it here. Once again, going for the Hetzer, man. Reporting light damage. So I've been told that perhaps one of the reasons why that Hetzers get targeted is... I think I've mentioned this before. Oh, that's damage. I think I've mentioned this before is that they um, they're easier to hit but it's got three chevrons of evasion I don't think it's any easier to hit than any like it's Helopolis is easier to hit Commander. it's so damn slow who do we got here this is uh, Hellbringer okay that's the Indra down there why is there clan units here Um, hmm, that guy's going to be super evasive, so let's, let's not sprint, let's just move up, give us a slightly better chance to hit, we're going to try and shoot that chopper down if we can, I'll try to avoid using ammo, we'll just use the ER lasers I think, yeah we're going to save the big guns for the uh, units on the ground, we'll just fire the lasers at this guy, roger that, all right, nothing. That's fine. No That's fine. So this 2C, it's the Ultra 20 version. Ah, oh, fuck. He's got no armor, though. Yeah. Uh, I need you to get it in range with tandems. Do we try and kill that hunchback? I don't... I, 
If we go here, the chance to hit is going to be so low with the tandems. Uh, they've got turrets too. That's not going to be a good time. Okay, let's get into here. High tailing it. Yes, I am. Unless the turrets are indirect. Hardened Calliope. A pair of ATM-12s and some AP Gauss rifles. Well, that's fun. Alright, we got to stay out of direct line of sight of that turret. Hardened Gauss, we stay out of direct line of sight of that turret. And there's probably another one back there, but I don't know what it is yet, so... Um, the ER medium off, save some heat. It's going to be a big deal, I think, in this battle. I mean, this thing's got, like, nothing on it anyway, but... Pulling the trigger. Mm -hmm. the, the copter, that is. But less guns on the field, the better. What do you need? Uh, I'm going to reserve you. I want that Hunchback 2C to move before you. Okay, there he goes. Going down the hill a little bit. Not using the ACs, though. They could be at a range. Possibility. I hear you. All right, buddy. We need to get on two people. We've got incendiary for this guy. Because this guy's going to be a bad time. And then regular indirect for this guy. That's 47. 47. Uh... Those AC-20s are going to own this bottom terrace, but this guy is going to be a nightmare for us. So let's get on this guy right away. Keep him nice and toasty. We've got the uh, second Treb, the 5K, that we're going to put on him too. As soon as he overheats, he's going to be in trouble, unless he's got like a prototype double heat sink that's going to drop his heat levels. All right, Tiger, uh, we need to get some fire support going. And we know our target. Roger. We know our target. Right here. Not the best chances to hit. Um, do we front load? No, because we don't have a good chance to hit, so we're going to wait till next turn before we Warlord. <laughs> All right, one hit, not bad. The best thing about that What's up, boss? that Ultra AC uh, 2C is that it's got like low armor, so should be able to kill it. All right, let's get down Hi, here, buddy. and hopefully with these MRMs we can pull this guy down. Wow, maybe not. Um, we got lots of we got lots of ammo, lots of ammo. Soften him up a little bit. Waiting for orders. All right, buddy. Um, get you over here. I think we we have Sam ammo on this guy, or is it just dead fire and standard? We got LK as well. Let's so save the LK for when it's really really important. We'll just fire the regular stuff right. at this guy. I thought we were gonna have that guy down by now. Hmm. We are out of range with the uh, oh, with the auto cannon, which means the hunchback's out of range too. So let's get into here. Understood. Moving. We're back. gonna shoot against the black knight, and then we'll move into range with the uh, with the uh, AC twenty. Let's get the incendiaries on this guy. I'm taking the shot. Any heat added to that that guy is good heat. Yeah. Alright, Sarge, you know your target. Can you get a direct line of sight is the question. You can, but you're really exposing to do it. And I don't think I want to expose like that. Not in this turn. Let's move to here. I'll do what I can. Well, knowing the bad guy. 
he is going to shoot next turn regardless, which means he'll put him over in heat. So let's see if we can pull this guy down. Uh, let's just go standard ammo. And yes. Still not enough, man. Oh well. Ooh, okay. That's all you got. That's the ATM turret. All right. Loving the Hetzers. Okay, they go before us. What do we go on here? Twenty one is Raider. I don't know how we approach this base with these direct fire turrets like this. Um, yeah, he's still backing up. So he's not a threat anymore. We're going to forget him now. That 2C and the Black Knight and the turrets are really the threat. I mean, this adder we can take down. It's the uh, LRM one, I think. And then the Indra down here. I have no idea what this thing's got on it. See what this guy's doing. He's trying to come up here. Light damage, Commander. Yeah, we don't know what the Indra's got. Okay. Um, Awaiting orders. How much armor does this turret have? Do we know? Four hundred and eighty. And it's got a commanding view of this whole valley. Do we focus that turret? Wow, well, we're going to be exposing to the laser turret. Really, it's only got two large chem lasers, ER at large pulse. They're clan chem lasers, though, so I don't know what the ranges are. AP Gauss rifles are close la range, large chem lasers are long range. Okay, here's that last turret. What are you? Streak LRM. So he's got to be in direct fire for that guy. Um, let's just hold on Waiting for a second, for please. Yeah, we got, uh, even though we've got high ground, they still got the ability to shoot all of us. Is there a way we can sneak around and get one turret without the rest of them seeing us? No, there is not. Well, right here. But we're not going to get a good... Uh, oh, what's this? That's oh, just part of the base? Looks like a long tom. I guess it's just part of the base. Um, mm. Let's hold on for a second. Oh, I'm holding tight. Okay. Um, yeah. What can I do you for? That's actually pretty good positioning to fire on both the Black Knight and that back turret. It's got a direct line of sight, though. Well, not direct, but a line of sight. Let's Head get down. over here. Let's see what we can do against this hunchback. That's really great chances to hit. We're going to go this route. Double shot. Uh, we can't use all the medium lasers, but we use as much as we can. Let's warlord this. Front load as much damage as we can on this guy. Um, we've only got slugs, so that's fine. Damage is 48, eh? Alright. Alright, he's unsteady now. Let's follow up with that. What do you need? Uh, Sarge, you are in direct line of sight of the bird, but and it's nothing else. Can you get a, a line of sight on the hunchback? You can if you expose. Actually, you can from here, too. Let's move. I know you should be going on the Black Knight to heat him up. Actually, that's pretty damn good. But I think it's more important to, to go after this Hunchback now. It's too much of a wild card to leave him alone down here. Uh, we go with Standard, or...?
And let's try and heat him up a bit too. Miss with the AC. Ooh, nice. Got past the armor. How'd One Ultra 20 down. Your battle is over. Yeah, I knew he was going to wind up. We got to back up. We can't stay here. We got to back up. Those guys are just too far yep. forward. You do not have the movement to do that. Let's go here. Get out of the visibility of that turret. Get our stability back. Lousy chances on this guy, but we're going to fire them anyway. Let's take the uh, incendiaries and the lasers. Okay, hopefully that guy shuts yeah. down. We can capitalize on that. Uh, rocket strike. Can we get... We can get a sight on... Oh, that's two turrets there. This just means the back turret's out of range here. So that gives the back turret a shot at us here and the side turret. Damn it. We are not in a good position. As much as I thought this high ground was going to give us some benefits, we are not in a good position at all. Um... I almost want to move forward and try and kill kill the turret. How much armor do you have? Oh, not you. 320 and 200 internal. 250 internal and 480. So this is a, just so you guys know, this is a three and a half skull base destruction against Clan Star Adder. We need to move so we can get in closer. This is going to give us that, so we're going to do that. Alright, three chevrons of evasion, not too bad, but these guys are accurate, so not much we can do about it. Just going to fire the uh, medium laser at this thing for now. Uh, we want to drop the barrage on them? No, I think we hold off on the barrage. See if we can get the tag on, though. Lock in Tag's on. Alright, good. I think... We try and take we out that laser later. turret. Only 34 with indirect, huh? 47 on the turret. Taking this turret out will allow us to get in to take this turret. We've also got to kill this guy, though. Um, he's overheated. I don't know what to do here. <sighs> I'm going to put this on here. We're going to go with EMP. Let's fuck up their sensors a bit. Alright, that hit. Beautiful. Alright, we got a chance to take that turret and placement down next turn, I think. Yes, Commander. All right, uh, let's sprint you over here. Fast as you can go. Roger that. And I think we'll take a shot at the. Uh, we'll take a shot at the uh, hunchback here. We got a side shot. Um, we need you gone. We need you gone. Standing by. What position are you in here? You're in a pretty good position. You don't have to worry about other people shooting at you, so let's go after this guy. Let's just warlord it too. Good hits. Good hits. Good 
critical hit. Not bailing though. Receiving you. All right, Rusty. Now. <laughs> oh, that's not too well. That's just the Indra and the helicopter here. I don't know, and we can't have you die early. Let's go down here. Just run it. No, you're sneaking. We're gonna sneak you up this way a bit, I think. We gotta get you close, so let's just go after this guy. Alright, so he's got a Black Knight's got a standard loadout, kind of, so. Oh, he got a head hit. At least he loses some initiative next round. That's a bonus. Standing by. You gotta back up. We gotta get back you up here. We gotta get that bushwhacker to around next turn. So let's get up here. And we'll try and take out the hunchback, I think, with the ER large. CT hit, please. There we go. Okay, we draw first blood. Enemy down. I'm really hoping there's no reinforcements, because normally they come from here. And that'll put us in a really, really bad position. Okay, Firestarter's in a position to kill this adder next turn, though. I mean, we could use the tandem on it and kill the kill the adder. All right, trying with the tag. That's fine. You try and tag me, buddy. You try and tag me. Yes, Commander. Shit's going to get real here. Um, okay, I gotta decide. Do we try and take down that hardened Goss turret? We'd have to... Everybody would have to go on that turret this turn. Like, everybody would have to shoot that turret. That's the threat now, is that Goss turret right here. With that Goss turret gone, that opens up the ability to maneuver back down this walkway here. So I'm thinking that's what we do. I'm thinking we push forward and we try and kill everybody on that Goss turret now. We should be able to, everyone should be able to go before it. Um, can we get a direct line of sight? We can from here. So we're going to sprint up. We're going to do this. We're going to go for the Goss turret. We're all in on this Goss turret now. It's got to go. Look at the chance to hit. Beautiful. Fire it all. Yeah, we gotta take this Goss turret down. It's gotta go. It's got to go! And when it's gone, then we're gonna kill this laser turret. Well, the Black Knights, it is the heating target of opportunity. So the Indra's got a PPC. Most likely a clan PPC, which means it could be problems. Yeah. I think you... We've got enough firepower to take out the turret without you. I know I said all in on the on the uh, turret, but you're really going to shine against this guy. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to fire on this guy. Uh, we've got to land that AC more often. Let's hit him hard. Okay, he's standing in flames too, which means as soon as he moves, he's going to be like bonus heat this turn. And if he fires everything, make it even worse for him. Yeah, you better run. Go for the Hetzers, man. I, there's got to be something in the programming that says, kill the Hetzers first. Aye, aye. It's not going to make me stop using them. You know, we got to go after that turret. Out. we got to push the turret now. Um... It's not going to make me stop using them because I, I really enjoy using the Hetzers, Taking but... And just so you know, I'm not using them as a meat shield. It's just that that's what I have, right, for vehicles. So, it's not like I specifically chose all Hetzers because, you know, the enemy is going to be going for them. Because if that was the case, I'd be doing that in all my other plays as well, right? So, 
Anyway, no big deal. I don't have to justify it. I don't have to justify myself. Um. Let's drop a little heat. So we can go all in on somebody. Okay. Commander. That side. That side. Uh, you're gonna reserve. I want to see where we're at. How are you doing for armor? Not good. Not good. Can you get out of line of sight of that? That's the AT. Ah, fuck, man. So that's our left side damaged, mostly. Well, right torso, though, so... Not the best movement, Copy but that. we're going to go over here. This will give us the option between you and you with the incendiary. No, so we're going to go up to this guy. Roger. Okay, good damage. Scored a critical hit. Good damage. What can I do for you? You've only got one target. Uh, let's go with. Yeah, let's go with some swarm. We might as well. Tell me what to shoot. Spread the damage around a little bit over there. Turret's gone. Gotcha. It's a fucking crater now. That, that pilot's crazy. Shut down. Shut down. Yep. Game over. Okay, now. Receiving you. Flatline. Feeling confident. Let's move over here and try and kill this this chopper. Dead fire. Oh, that's LK. Dead fire is thirty, huh? We don't get a chance to use dead fire very often, so let's just go with the dead fire. Use it up. It's gonna, it's gonna spread it around, are you? Just gonna spread it around. Let's get you back up this way, but not in sight of that turret over there. I thought we were going to take the low ground, but now that the, that turret's gone, the Black Knight shut down, we've got a little bit of room to maneuver up here. Let's go after this and hopefully kill it. Going to Warlord it, though. Just to get a couple of extra hits, hopefully. That should do it, yep. That should get rid of some of their eyes. All right, large hit. That's fine. Light damage, Commander. I'm listening. How far can we get over here? Can we get out of the turret's range? Cannot. Don't have the ability to do that, unfortunately. I was hoping we could get like a little farther than this. You know what? Let's reserve. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to reserve this. Let this turret go, the, the energy turret. Who's that, the adder? No, that's the uh, streak turret in the back. Okay, that's the energy turret. Not the best targeting in the world. Here's what we do now. Uh, take right you. Mm -hmm. We're going to vigilance. And hopefully get a little bit more speed next turn. We're going to sprint you down to here. Because then we're going to sprint down and get out of the range of the turrets next turn. Put us in striking distance. So what do we got on you? The ER medium. And you. A lot of lasers. Yeah, I think we'll, we're, we're okay. We're going to take the heat. I'm going to hold on to the warlord until we go with the tandem rockets. All right, a little bit of damage on the adder. Nice. We see you. We got plus 16 resolve per turn, man. Plus an extra one. Plus 17 resolve. Yeah, baby. Okay, he goes on four. We go on 21. Beautiful. This guy goes on 23, though. What are you up to? All right, you're not shooting at Going for the Hetzu again. I'm under heavy fire. I see that. 
Uh, I see that. I'm listening. Oh, we don't really have a lot of places we can go down here that we can't be shot, do we? This gets us out of the street turrets range. We could do a sprint strike and try and kill this guy. That would be a... Well, it wouldn't be a kill shot on him. Turret. That's a pretty good, damn good chance on this turret. And that opens it up for everybody to move forward, I think. I was hoping to hold on to those tandems. It. Don't think. Oh shit. Uh Oh shit. Oh shit. One, two, three, four Burke defense tanks was Oh Jesus. Sweet Christmas! We got too close to the base. I thought it was... Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, everybody on this heavy laser turret, let's get... Let's keep these... Um, I need the barrage for those vehicles. Let's keep the rockets for the vehicles. Let's fire on this turret. This turret's got to be gone this turn, everybody. Everybody on this turret, I want everybody up the hill now. Everybody up the hill now. These guys got three PPCs each. All right. Yep. I need you back up here, fast, fast, fast. Or let's not panic. Let's not panic. Let's take advantage of what we got here. Acknowledge. We've got a we've got a battle master shut or a black knight shut down and a turret almost gone. Let's take advantage of that. We're still out of range with the AC. Uh, 43, 64. I think this guy's running XL. If I'm not mistaken, I think he's running XL. What do we got on this thing? A little, a little less chance to hit, but I want to apply damage to this guy to free up the guys above. Acknowledge. Nice. I think we can get our low yes, commander. max here. That's going to put me in range of that. Can we get to a point where the streak turret can't see us? I guess we can't. If we push, we're getting the three turrets. Two turrets, because we'll kill this turret now. Okay, that's the right arm damage. Let's just turn a little bit like this, I guess. Here we go. Uh, let's drop our heat and kill it with the missiles. Okay. Brought it down, Commander. That you did. Yeah. All right, Sarge. 77, eh? Can we get a better, cleaner shot on it? I guess we can't get a cleaner shot on it. All right, let's do this. Aye, aye. Engaging target. Pen. Yeah, you're not doing anything nice. anytime soon. Got past the armor. Okay, now what? Um, I don't know how fast those Burke tanks are. Look at this guy glowing. Ooh, you're accurate with that. It's a clan PPC too. Reporting major armor loss. Yes, command. Let's not give those Burks a chance to shoot at us. Let's get over here. Move on out. When we go after them, we're gonna have to squash them fast. 
Let's bring you down so you're out of the battle. And keep our heat low. Nope, not running XL. Okay, so he's taking a hit because he lost the torso. One more because he's falling. Down to one. Waiting for orders. What do you think, Rusty? You think you oh god, you got no armor left. That PPC hit was brutal. So that's the right side. Okay, let's get up here. Let's go. I think we're gonna need the MRMs for the vehicles. Let's get up here. Can't have you get down there. Can't have you get killed down there. So we're right here, I think. Get right in here. Let's try for the let's try to finish this thing up. Okay, there it is. Nice. One less target. So we got an ERPPC here on the board still. We gotta kill. What's up, boss? You got chunky armor too. Uh, let's just go right after it. Ooh, three hits. Enemy structure damage, Commander. All right, ice baby. Probably. What's the most central one? Probably here. That swarm ammo in there, at least we can hit a bunch of them. Alright, we soften them a bit. Yeah, it's all it's all splash, I'm okay. That was working over time. Got two of them anyway. I copy. Now the question is. I don't know how fast these guys are. They can't, well, I don't know how much they weigh either. I was going to say they can't be that fast. Oh, that's a lot of armor. Okay, it's weak at the back and the sides. And the internal structure. So we definitely need you for the vehicles. So, how far can you get? And not take, um... A line of sight from the turrets here. So that gives that the Calliope turret can see you here. What if we target the Calliope? How much? This is a hardened one, though, right? 500 armor. Fuck me. All right, let's try and get some distance from those vehicles. Hmm. That's probably the best move here for now. We're going to drop our instability. Let's get over here. Our best chance, I think, is against the adder. No, it's against this guy. So that's the right side, which is the side facing me. Drop the ER medium, we'll fire the rest. If we can kill the Indra, it'll definitely be worth it. Let's try to do that. Beautiful. Oh, awesome. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Our side is free now. We're going to push that back turret. We're going to push this turret, I think, with these guys here. I'm, uh, I'm terrified of these. <laughs> terrified of those tanks, man. What's the adder doing? 
What is the adder doing? You're moving forward. Metal affected. So thanks, uh, Fist of Thorn, for telling me what that was. It's like they're blaring heavy metal music. We had a uh, go in the comment section and have a look. We had a discussion about that too, because I think it's kind of funny. Need? Like if you, because if you're a metalhead, it's like, how is that disturbing to you though? Like it doesn't affect your fight, <laughs> fighting in any way. It's just like, yeah, man, cool. And then he's like, well, you know, it's about volume too, right? And I'm like, yeah, but. Like if you like Motorhead, like they're like the like the loudest band, right? So, hmm, let's go this route. So it's not gonna really affect you that much. Control burst. This give me what? Uh, minus ten percent heat generated. Minus one recoil. Let's go this one. Anyway, that being said, I don't think this matters. I'm gonna drop the acid first, but. Uh, that being said, it's like... Did the AC hit? I don't think it did. Damn it. Awaiting orders. Okay, don't let the turret see you if we can. I don't think we can. There's nowhere we can go that that one turret won't see us. Oh, right here. But then we can't shoot. That back turret sees us, back turret, no turret. Somebody's gonna see us. Wait, how much armor does this turret have? 320. Let's see if we can't, uh... Remove our this backline menace here. That's really great chances to hit though. Beautiful. Affirmative. Yeah, so metal affected. I I kinda get it. But like I mean I, I understand it. Like it like there's so many types of metal, right? And I grew up in the eighties and metal was like the thing to listen to when I was younger. And I was a I was a big metal head when I was a kid. Well, I was I was a teenager, not a kid. But, um, yeah, so it was a big thing. I don't know, this is like dangerous to move up here like this. <sighs> do we do it though? Let's move. Like I said, I have no idea how fast those vehicles are, or what they're going to decide is their primary target. We're going all in on this turret, so we got to get rid of it. Let's just do it. Well, LBX hit, but the AC didn't. The AC five. Yep. Okay, let's get you. Stay in the trees. Let's just get in here. All right, full speed. We'll drop Lerms in that back turret for now. Not the best chance, but we're doing it. I was hoping we'd get past the armor, but we didn't. Yeah, so like I was like, you know, I can I can understand it if you're like, you know, your your traditional, you know heavy metalist and you're like the ACDC fan or whatever and then all of a sudden like they're they're blaring like you know thrash or like death metal or whatever and you're, you're hating that or something I don't know but like for me honestly it was like if they if they blared motorhead at me I'd be like yeah crank it up baby and I'm like a, I'm, a, I'm a huge electronic music fan now but I, I still love motorhead I, I, I how can you not love motorhead um and if you don't love Motorhead, you're crazy. That's all I got. That's all I have to say. Um, Acknowledged. Rest in peace, Lemmy. Anyway, uh, yeah. So, but I, I totally get it. That, the ECM is kind of cool, though. That, that's kind of funny. Fire. Damn it! You had such good chances to hit. Damn it! You were like the champion last. You were like, I was praising you last Go. friggin' turn, and now you're just garbage. What the hell? 
pair of LRM 15s and we can't that turret directly? How do we get a direct shot in that turret? Come on! Everybody else can shoot it. Everybody apparently except you. Unless I go over here. I'm gonna run the risk. I can't have these turrets shooting me in the back when we're fighting those vehicles. Let's fire at this guy. That's great damage. Nice. I think he got past the armor. Okay, that guy is really slow. And I'm not feeling so bad now. So where's our center guy again? Probably still you. You know what? They're slow. Let's uh, take this opportunity to get rid of this turret if we can. It's out of range for everything. That's fine. Yes! My god, you're so accurate today. That's a kill. That is a kill. The thumper's like bang on today. Or sniper, sorry. You a sniper, Bubba. Oh, this guy's giving himself up, is he? Good to go. Good to go. Let's get those MRMs up here, girl. Actually, let's get in these trees in case someone decides to shoot you from over there. On the move. They still got ATMs, so. Let's get this last turret done. And this adder. Where are they going? That's the chem lasers. Ow! Oh, that's from the back turret. Damn. That was accurate. That was freaking accurate. Yeah. We gotta get this back turret now. Moving to position. Those vehicles are fucking around back there, so let's get this back turret. This thing's hardened, so let's uh, drop everything on it that we can at the moment. All the ACs hit, lasers hit, nice. It's the adder now. See what he's doing. Gonna back up a little bit, are ya? Nice shooting, Tex. Okay. That hurt. Yeah, it did. Aye, aye. You know what we gotta do. You know what you gotta do. Closing the range to get a best chance to hit. Reporting. You have the free reign to move now, so let's get over here. Confirmed. And how much is it? Oh, it's gonna be too much if we put that on. Regular rockets? 66%. Yep, let's go this route. Confirm. Okay, there goes his LRM 20, or one of them. That was a critical hit. We could have used that, but we can also use our own armor, so. I don't even know these tanks back here. If they stay clustered, it's gonna be it's gonna be an issue. What do you need? It's gonna be a big issue. Confirmed. This may seem crazy, but I am a bit touched. Okay, that's acid. Incendiary. The sixty. Wait. Well, that's the MRM. Yeah, we want to go acid. Precision, we got two rounds left, standard. Incendiary does 140 damage, so let's go that route. Yeah, that hit. Nice. Badass. Nice. Yeah. On the 
on it. Okay, Sarge, I need you on that back turret, please. That should do it. Okay, I'm on it. There it is, folks. All right, turret's gone. Target destroyed. Waiting on you, Commander. I was thinking about firing danger close down there, but don't think we do that. Oh, somebody also mentioned that there's a key that we can I can use to go back and forth between targets. I can't. I don't. I don't. I didn't look. I should have looked. So tab takes you forward. Ooh, that's pretty good. And there's another key that takes you backwards, and I don't think I've got it programmed. That's another Burke tank. Yeah, it's, it's too close. We're not doing buildings right now. Worry about that afterwards. Nope, nope, yep. Right, Commander. All right, soften them up. That's not bad. Waiting for orders. That's all right. Ooh. Um. Yes, buddy, please. Yes, please. Shit chance to hit, but we're going to fire on them anyway. All right. Two hits. Nice. Except for last round. Uh-oh. Okay, he's not quite able to get over the hill. And I don't think this guy is either. Nope, I'm wrong. Took a hard hit there. You did. These guys all crushed together. We're fucked. Yeah. I can't take much more of this. We extended to be able to kill the turrets, so we don't have people shooting at our backs. But uh, yeah, fuck, they're knocking down. Shit. Oh, I took one in the gut. Shit, shit, shit. Rusty, get your ass up here and do something. Full speed, no target. They're going to kill you next turn, but 34, 47. All right. He's got serious front damage, so... Yep. Um... Thinking about what would be best against vehicles. That's probably good. I want to save the incendiary for vehicles, so let's just use this on this guy. AC hit, beautiful, nice. That one's gone. Good thing his initiative was lowered. Yeah. We gotta draw some fire. All right, Sarge, move up. We gotta expose and draw some fire off that Hellbringer. I don't think it's gonna matter, but. We gotta do it. Warlord this. Make sure the incendiaries are all on. Yep, firing on the vehicle. Okay. <laughs> Commander. We need you up here fast, fast, fast. Well, we don't even got speed. Um Let's go this way. Affirmative. Stay out of the trees. Go around the trees. There's going to be two turns before you can get up there. Commander. Same thing with you. Roger. Full throttle. Okay, you should be able to get up there and probably kill this Burke next turn. So that Burke is going to be gone. Hopefully we can kill this one this turn and that one will be gone. You guys actually have pretty good speed, too. Helopolis might be able to take this guy down. 
Okay, Zephyr's backing up. Ready for orders. You still got half decent Roger. armor. Let's just walk it up here, keep our stability. And... Okay, you're almost done. I think the Halopolis should be able to finish you up. Let's go on this guy and hopefully draw some fire from him. Nice, four hits. I'm wondering... If we attack this guy, is the splash damage going to be enough to kill this guy? And if we go with, do this. I know I'm running the risk here. Let's warlord it. But I want to try and kill the second guy with splash and apply a lot of damage to this guy. Let's do that. Time to die. Nice hit. And there, yeah, it was a kill. Splash it around. Beautiful. So this guy's almost done. Serious damage on the side. He should be able to go down next turn. Commander? You actually, we should be able to go down this turn. Come on, Rusty. This guy's all yours. Okay, two Burks are down. Vehicle down. That's going to minimize the hopeful death of the Hellbringer. Fuck. Hang in there, buddy. Okay. Ah, the optics are destroyed. God damn it. Okay. That was a sacrifice I had to make. I hate doing it. Absolutely hated doing it. But the Hetzer is definitely cheaper than the, uh... Hellbringer. I wish I had jumped yet. Now I could just jump down here, but I don't. But I don't. All right. Because Regain reasons. Stamped, Commander. Jesus Christ. We got so lucky. We ain't out of this yet, though. Okay, that's the... Right, right side? Right side? Right? Like that? Roger that. Minimize our losses here a little bit. Hopefully. Okay. Hmm. You know who yours you know who your target is. Can we get him in the second range? We can if we go here. Not the best place to be, but it's the place we're going. Hey! What's up, buddy? Guess what I got for you? I know we're going to be overheating, but I got a whole lot of fuck you. Let's not overheat. Just so I can move next turn and not shut down. Alright, let's blast this guy with everything. Did I kill him? He did, it did, okay. Vehicle destroyed. <laughs> oh, fuck. All out of short range missiles. Ah. <sighs> I'm <laughs> feeling good about that one. Feeling good about that one. All right. Uh, let's clean this up and go home. Who's next? Oh, the Zephyr goes next. Interesting. If you want to make a sacrificial play, come over here and attack this guy. Okay. Fair enough. What do you need? Um, what? Oh, okay. You're not going to be getting into play up there at all, so let's just... Apparently I can't walk that far. Move up here. Confirmed. Your battle's done. Medium, medium, large. How many hit points do you got? 205. Uh... I'm trying to figure out how much damage we can do here. 140 damage with incendiary. If we switch from acid to incendiary. That's a kill. That's close to a kill, I think. That's 270, so not a kill. We can do 270 if we hit with everything. So what does this guy got? 
290. Hey, what? How do they all of a sudden all have 290 again? 205. Alright, let's just shoot this building. Get it over with. Yeah? Okay, Sarge. This guy's got to go. A little close for these guys. We got dead fire though. That's just as good as a fuck you. There we go. His armor is like stripped. Standing by. Uh, you're not gonna get up there for the finish of the battle, so. Let's go after this guy, take this building down. Roger that. Enemy structure eliminated. I know we should be capturing it, but this is a, this is a destroy base mission, so I, 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 there is no capturing. Okay, AC 5s good range. Position get up here. Confirmed. Three PPCs don't scare me so much as 12 did. That's for sure. Alright, firing on this guy. You had the chance to kill him and you gave it up. You just gave it up. Waiting on you, Commander. Roger that. Firing on target. Ooh, that was a big mess. Who do we have left? Order. What do you think? You want to get some payback? Get some fucking payback. How are we doing for heat? Shitty, but we're taking the payback shot anyway. There you go. Oh man. One more for the trash heap. That could have that could have gone what do you so need? terribly wrong. Down, the Zephyr could still kill the Hellbringer. I don't think he will. I think he'll panic and, and drive away, but we'll see what happens. That's the only reason why I moved him up. Because I figured the Zephyr would panic. Oh, shit. What are you shooting at? Oh, you bastard. He went for it. Damage. Yeah, it's okay. He's not surviving this, yep. so. I'm trying to get some range, but it's not going to matter. Alright, let's just do this. Sure. Guy's danger close, so let's uh I can't get the mediums on this guy. Yeah, I mean I could, but uh, what do we do now? Can we turn? I don't know if this is gonna work. We're gonna turn so that Though that side over there where my guys are is not within the arc of fire. And we're gonna try it. I hope I don't kill my own guy. I did. How is that? How is that even a thing? Yes, Commander. Whatever. That's my fault. I gotta take I gotta accept responsibility for it. It's fine. Affirmative. Get to left and I'll see the I'm coming in hot. Ah, that's my fault. Commander. 
Yeah, we don't got very much speed now that we got super overheated. Who's up next? Orders. Nobody kills my guys but me. Alright, fire on you. Nice. Ah. Reporting. And well, here's the thing. We wouldn't have gotten him this turn unless I did fire on it. So... Well, we may have. I don't know. Successful. We may have. Yeah, I guess we did okay on that. I mean, we took a bunch of damage, but... <sighs> the only kill against our guys was me. So we lost the searchlight. Maybe we lost the searchlight. I don't know. Clan XL. Heat bank and the advanced optics are gone. Well, we got the LBX stayed on. Ultra 5 is gone. Whatever, we'll figure it out. I mean, this was an interim build on this mech anyway. So we'll figure out what we're going to do with it. We've got the um, Vulture 2C, or the, the 2 Pirate, coming up anyway. I put a build on it. So I just didn't include it in this match because I figured, you know, we've had our supply base captured and we can't really do much with that. So, but it'll be showing up sooner or later. Okay, well, okay, the Burks are 75 tons. Is it worth taking a Burk? Is it worth taking a Burk? Hunchback 2C part, we've only got one of them. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Two Indra parts. This actually wasn't too bad with the PPC on it. And it's okay armor. Royal Zephyr parts. AP Gauss rifles, those are the small ones. ATM-12. Clan ER PPC. Another LBX-10. We could go with a double L LBX build on the uh, Hellbringer. That's a pot. You know what? Oh, that's nice too. That's a possibility. Um, let me look to see. Ooh, there's XL engines here. They're not Clan XLs. They're just regular XLs, I think. Yeah, see, the stuff that we had on our mech shows up here. Um, Ultra 20 ammo. No, L oh, there it is there. Slug ammo. All right, I'm just going to throw those there for now. Let's just go through and see what else we've got, just in case there's something amazing here. Uh, range finder, pirate fire control system. Do we have... We've got one of these already. Clan double heat sinks would be nice. Guardian ECM, Pharaohs. Wow. Five regular Pharaoh fibers. Five? Really? Uh, okay, there's the XL engines. A 400 core. What was it? What, what had the 400 core? What had the 400 core? Was it the, wasn't the Black Knight, was it? May very well have been. They're coupling engines together too. Look at that. Um, the, oh, there's the Ultra 20 clan. So, wait. How much ammo is this down here? 12 shots. We don't have any double Ultra ammo. So now I'm thinking we take the Ultra 20 and the ammo. Hmm. I think we still need range, though. I think the LBX-10 is probably better at the moment. Because we're still running kind of like the lighter end of the heavy mechs, upper end of the medium mechs. So, what I think a, uh, ultra, like an Ultra 20 or AC 20s really need is a mech with like half decently heavy armor to get in close enough to use it. Because you can see what would happen with the Bushwhacker today. It just, those first few rounds, it had no opportunity to use it and not enough armor to, to just push forward to be able to fire. 
it was shut down like right at the very beginning of the match and that's the issue I think if we take the Ultra 20 it's going to be the same thing so if we go with the LBX 10s which have a range of 720 then we can get them into battle early and apply damage like consistently throughout the entire battle so I think that's what makes the LBX a better take on this match the clan ERPPC is super nice too I got one on the uh on the vulture build right now um, but I'm wondering if how much is this worth 1.3 million this is worth three and a half two and a half I think I'm, I have to take this now though well you know what no I'm just thinking C bills wise the right move is to take this because we got to get the hellbringer back up and running but Story-wise, the Hellbringer won't be back until we're able to get out of the valley. So I'm okay with leaving that on the battlefield for now because I'm not going to like fix the Hellbringer yet. So that's okay. So I think we do take the Clan PPC. I think we take that. This I'd be a fool not to take this. A half like a a five-ton LRM twenty. I'd be a fool not to take that. I think. Um. Because that can go on any of our mechs at this point. Uh, so we'll take that. And I think that's probably good. And we'll roll the bones and see what else we can get out of this. There's a lot of good stuff here on the ground. So let's hope we can pick up some good stuff. All right, we got the adder part. Royal Zephyr. We got shit vehicle parts. Uh, seven medium lasers. Really? Really? Two 225 cores. They can sell those. Fire control system standard, SLDF fire control system. I'll hold on to it. Double heat sinks, clan. Okay. Jump jet can go. Well, that's not bad. All right, we'll take that. Powered sensors, regular clan sensors. We got one clan sensor, but I'll hold on to it. Powered sensors are better, I think, anyway. Right? Yeah, because this gives us one to sensor detection. And this gives us two, I think. Uh, passive probes, two. Th bonus of three to sensors detection. Yeah, so that's better. Standard fusion core can go because we've still got one. Chem ammo can go. LRM streak ammo we'll, on, we'll hold on to. And SRM streak ammo can go because I don't think we're going to be using streaks at all. All right, so I think that's mediocre. All right, that's not bad. Let's have a look at the mech bay real quick just to see where we're at with uh, the Hellbringer here. So let's have a look at the refit on this guy. So we didn't lose, so I'm a bit confused and I'm not sure if it's an error in Rogue Tech or maybe they can't get around it. So the pirate fire control system, the range finder and the powered sensors were ours left in the battlefield. And I wonder if this was ours too. We just, we took our own weapon off the battle, oh shit. I just thought of that, maybe we just took our own weapon off the battlefield. That would kind of make sense. Um, yeah. What do we got? 375,000 free repairs in 11 days. So, yeah, I mean, we lost the advanced optics, the heat bank, double heat sink kit, regular double heat sink kit, the Ultra 5, which is a regular Ultra 5. I mean, it was, what, 9 tons? Plus we had 2 tons of ammo. This is 10 tons, right? Yeah, I mean, we can lose an ER medium. Like, if we go this route this route well, we lost the gyro too right Did we lose a gyro wait then why is all of a sudden this so much oh the heavy pharaoh ah uh, right which we've got heavy pharaoh okay so now we've got okay we got those two then we can do do we have a double heatsink kit though there's the, there's the question I don't think we do. Nope. Thermal vision could go on here though. Better than nothing. Either well, you know what? Uh, because we're going to be overheating so much, we'd probably have to go with this and this. Heat sinking is still garbage. A damn thing we can do about it. It's because of the ERs.
Yeah, I mean, we're going to let it sit. I'm not going to do anything with it, like I said. We're already at 500,000 anyway. But I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. And then we go to ammo. Let's just double check. I just want to double, double check this here. So we got two slug. I sh that should have tipped me off when I saw the slug ammo. So if we do that, let's say we do... You know what? Maybe we do... Because that'll... If we're taking those two off, we'll get our heat back. And then, do we have... Yes, we do. We got that. And then, ammo. How much AMS ammo do we have? Just the caseless stuff, huh? God damn it. Doubles the shots, but increases the jam chance, which is like terrible for um, over overload. It's going to shut down. That's what I wanted it for, right? Because if we can't do a lot of damage, we can certainly do protection, right? That would, would be the goal, is to protect the other guys that are around this guy with the AMS Mark II. Um, man, I don't know. Well, that's my thought anyway. Let me let me know what you guys think down in the in the uh, comments section. I'm interested to hear what you guys think about that. Like, I mean, this is kind of a stopgap. We could go with this too, though. Fire control system AC. Plus one accuracy with auto cannons, minus one recoil. What's the recoil on these two? It's not that bad. Two isn't that bad. We've yet to have a jam. It's three with this thing in, though. But we avoid evasion. The heat generation is not a big deal. Allows breaching shot when firing a single weapon. So, I mean... I don't know. I don't know. And then we could do... Yeah, i got to leave the thermal vision off, I guess. Well, we don't need these then. Right, because if we're looking at going as a defensive purposes, then thermal vision would be good. IFF jammer mark one. That's like really a low level ECM is what that is. Um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, you kind of have an idea of what I've got. We don't really have a whole lot of stuff. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff, but not a lot of stuff if that makes... Like, not a lot that can go on this guy, if that makes sense. There's a pirate laser AMS we could go with. Like, we, yeah, if we do that instead, like, if we go laser AMS... Can we put this thing on overload? That's the question. Ooh, that's fucking heavy as hell. Maybe we can't do that. Yeah, you can overload it. Which means it should protect our friends. I'm not that worried about... Well, it generates a hell of a lot of heat, actually. 13. Overload 26 heat per activation in AMS mode. That's suicide! But it can also fire as... Heat per activation in AMS mode can fire as a large laser. 13% chance to misfire when firing in AMS mode. Weapon has 45% chance to misfire when firing in overload mode. <laughs> Jesus, like, pirates are just fucking crazy. Like, that's just asking to die, like. Anyway, <laughs> I'm going to leave the episode there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know what you think about what we're going to do for the Hellbringer. I'm not going to do anything right now, like I said, because it's down and we're, we're trapped behind enemy lines, so we can't really rebuild it anyway. This is not going to be seeing service for a bit, so we're down to a Lance of Six, and technically I should do it so that we don't have the Hetzers either. I'll see how we do that. I don't know. There was a lot of salvage stuff that left in the ground, so I could just say that we repaired them, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. All right. I'm going to leave the episode here. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.